That was uh, the first uh, series other than Crusader that I uh, did at MCA, and it was uh, what was known then as an anthology series. It was sort of the, uh, I guess, uh, the aftermath of the, of the great uh, live and tape ones you know, from the East and so forth. Uh, and there weren't many on at the time. There were a few, but not too many. What year was this? Uh, this would be 1957, I would guess. I mean, it's either it's the 56, 57, or 57, 58 series. That I don't remember. It was one of the others, around 1957. Uh, and what uh, th this was, Studio 57 was sponsored by the Heinz Company, naturally, the 57 products. And they wanted to do something a little more interesting than some of the other shows that had been on, the series that had been on. And so they gave us a lot of leeway. And I must tell you that we, uh, we attracted actors who had not done television. For example, the very first episode, I brought out from New York uh, Jessica Tandy and Hume Cronin, who had not done a film together. And it was called Little Miss Bedford, and they it was a, took a couple of men on the ship, and uh, it was a terrible storm, and poor Little Miss Bedford was never going to survive. You know, and of course, she is the one who, who pulled everything together when it was necessary, and in essence, saved Hume Cronin. So, uh, but it was a it was just a charming couple, and a delight working with them. Uh, she was a very special person. We did a, a lot of other uh, rather interesting pieces on. Uh, uh, on, on Studio 57, for example, uh, Arthur Miller, uh, an Arthur Miller short story that we did uh, was called something or other, It Takes a Thief. It Takes a Thief, I think was the name of it, as a matter of fact. And uh, we had long telephone conversations with him. It's the only short story that he ever had adapted. I don't think he wrote very many short stories, mostly plays. And so we had long conversations. Uh, Oscar Millard, who had written Crusader, wrote the... Uh, the teleplay for me, and we had a th many three-way conversations with Miller because he had very strong opinions on what we could or could not do, and he went over the script and made comments, and I must say it was very helpful. But it was we tried to go for that sort of thing, for the, for the unusual.